Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video where we're going to be discussing exactly what Fubo TV is and how it works. So these are pretty straightforward questions. Um, basically, what Fubo TV is, it's an internet-based TV streaming service where you can get a lot of those traditional uh, live TV channels, especially more catered to sports fans. Um, if you're interested in perhaps getting rid of your traditional satellite or cable TV subscription and going over to one of these more affordable internet based uh, TV packages. Certainly a lot of people are doing that. They try to cater these more to cord cutters or cord nevers, people that are just not interested in dealing with the hassles and just high cost of those traditional satellite and cable TV packages. There are some advantages to those traditional means in terms of reliability of the service because you don't have to um, have an internet connection to get those traditional services to work. If you are going to get a TV package like this, you have to make sure that you have a decent internet connection. At least, you know, I would say the minimum is maybe about 5 megabits per second download speed. Um, but pretty much everyone at this point is going to have a much higher internet speed than that. But to have at least one HD stream going at a time, uh, they do recommend at least having that 5 megabits per second download speed. So that's also something to keep in mind here. Um, and then you're also going to be limited to just two streams at the same time, which is another reason uh, that this doesn't necessarily work for everyone that is coming over from a traditional satellite or cable TV provider where maybe they have four or five um, set-top boxes on different TVs and a bunch of people in their house that are watching stuff at the same time. If you can't get by with just having two simultaneous streams, then this is also something that might not be for you. And if that's the case, you can... Um, uh, try things like Sling TV where you can get up to four streams at the same time or PlayStation View where you can get up to five streams at the same time if you're looking to get um, one of these internet TV streaming services that do have more screens simultaneously streamed um, at the same time available. Like I said, Fubo TV, it they try to cater more to the sports fans, but they do have a lot of entertainment options as well. Um, up to 70 plus channels in that base package. We'll just look over those real quick. Um, but just to... Uh, give you kind of a reasoning why these internet TV streaming services are more popular than the traditional satellite and cable TV is the fact that once you order it, you can cancel any time, no strings attached. You don't have to get bought out of your contract or anything. It's completely hassle-free, no contract. Uh, you can try it during the free trial period and decide if, if it's not for you, cancel it, no strings attached, not going to cost you anything. You don't have to have uh, people come over uh, from the cable or satellite TV companies and install equipment in your house. You're just going to be using um, the devices that you have, such as your computer web browser, your Android or iPhone device or iPad, um, if you have a Roku player, an Android TV, an Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, devices such as that, um, you're going to be able to watch that content through your television as well. And you're just going to own the device that you watch these subscriptions on through the app instead of having to go and pay extra money to rent those set-top boxes, which can just add a lot of money to those um, traditional satellite and cable TV subscriptions. So uh, moving on down here, you can kind of see get a taste for... Um, the different options that are available to you in terms of the sports content. There's quite a bit. One of the glaring weaknesses is there's no ESPN, but you get like the Big Ten Network, the Fox Sports Channels, NBC and CBS Sports Channels, NFL Network, NBA TV, and just a ton of different soccer content. This is mostly, I would say, um, catered to those that are fans of international soccer, just soccer in general. Uh, they have a lot of that. But then you get some of these entertainment and news based programs as well about half the channels that you're getting are going to be catered towards that and then some other random add-ons here and there um, most of these are for different uh, language speaking uh, people and that's pretty much it for the uh, different channel options um, but again these internet streaming tv service packages are just a lot simpler more straightforward and cost a whole lot less than those cable and satellite TV providers. And it's just so much easier. You just manage your account online. You don't have to have people install stuff in your house. And it's not a hassle to cancel. So you can test it out, like I said, and um, see if you like it. And if you don't, you can cancel it. If not, keep it. It's only $39.99 a month for all of that content. So um, just to kind of recap everything here at the end, uh, what is this and how does it work? 
Uh, it's an internet TV streaming service that's very similar to the traditional satellite and cable TV providers in terms of the channels provided to you, uh, but it's different in the fact that you have to have an internet connection, you have to have streamable devices to install the Fubo TV app on, uh, such as Roku Player and uh, Amazon Fire Android TV, uh, iPhone Android uh, devices, or you can also just watch it on your computer through the web browser, but it is different. You don't have to rent those boxes from the uh, traditional satellite and cable TV providers. And it's just a lot easier to cancel if you want. You don't have to have people come and take the equipment out of your house, run, uh, also have all those coax cables running through all your house. You don't have to have those as well. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I've made a lot of these Fubo TV related videos where I answer frequently asked questions, go through the app experience, uh, give a review and go more in depth on a lot of these different things. So if you wanna check those out, uh, be sure to go check out those videos over at our YouTube channel. So thanks for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.